Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a very special day because I, once again, am gonna be wasting $15 on Barry, a new brawler. Last time I did this with Draco, way too many of you guys watched the video, so I might as well do it again. I'll explain why I use the term wasting, but before that, make sure you put code nubs in your shop. And if you're not subscribed right now, then what, what are you doing? Just subscribe real quick, do it, please. We're getting close to a million. That would be pretty epic. The only reason I say this is a waste is because the guy is coming out in eight days for completely free. Anyway, let's do it. I'm straight up a week late to this. I don't know why I waited so long, but yeah, we're just now doing it. I haven't checked the shop in a few days, so I was kind of worried that Barry would be gone by now, but no, he's not. He's still here. What really sucks is I accidentally sent $50 worth of gems to my mini account, so now they're not on this one, and they're sitting there doing nothing. I don't even use the account, but I guess we get more stuff to claim, so that's pretty epic. 80 gems actually makes this pretty worth it. I'm glad that you can buy the brawler, and you don't have to spend more gems just to get these other rewards, and we're also 48 minutes away from getting the good skin. RIP, not gonna be recording for that long. All things considered, if you ever plan on buying something, one of these offers is probably worth it because not only do you get a brawler like that, but you get a bunch of coins, you get gems, you get a skin, you get pins. Still though, I could get all this for free technically, so that's why I'm calling it wasting. My guy is apparently like S tier, like top five in the game according to pros and stuff. I don't really know why, but we're gonna find out. And of course, we have a very simple method of finding out that exact thing, and that is uh, maxing them out immediately and not even giving the brawler a chance at level one because why would I do that when I could just spend all the resources that I've been farming for literally the last five years. I could definitely just be playing this game free to play, but I have to spend money for the content, even though I'm already like a week late on this. Uh, this star power I think is bad, and this one is really good. And then this gadget is gonna be really good for showdown, so we'll go with that. I also still haven't touched ranked, but at least I have a boost until legendary, no longer until masters because I forgot about ranked last season. But let's breeze past these bot matches real quick. I think the amount of pressure you're able to get with him if you just put like one splooge on you and one splooge on them is kind of wild because you're gonna be healing the whole time while you're also fighting people and if you have a wall in the mix that's just gonna be too broken many many minutes later all right about five wins in and we're finally fighting players just against the bots i've already taken a few notes about the brawler he is very well-rounded almost too well-rounded probably too well-rounded actually and that's most likely a reason why he's s tier he's just got so much utility kind of like charlie in a way where she just has a lot of situations where she's good in general like this brawler has decent burst damage sometimes especially with the super if you get that your burst damage is wild you can get some burst damage with your attacks but then it really falls off once you run out of ammo uh you have a gadget that pushes people away from you that's insane with this guy you have insane control the reload speed is bad but if you put a heal on yourself then your reload speed is not as bad as it used to be see ya see the push is insane and i could go kill him if i want to right now technically but wait come on Oh my gosh. See, dude, I'm like an assassin. It's wild. He's good at checking bushes. The only thing is like his range isn't incredible for a thrower. Usually throwers are better. And uh-oh. Please, no, dude, if I just got super, I won that. One thing I need to keep in mind is it's better to heal yourself with your attack than it is a naturally heal sometimes because you get super from it. And if I did that, then I probably would have gotten my super back. Then I wouldn't be dead right now. Yo, we got an Igor appearance. Let's go. What do you want to say, buddy? Absolutely nothing. I can't believe I'm already seeing kits, bro. I'm at 70 trophies. You can't escape this brawler, man. Oh, can we team on him? Come on, Larry, Lori, come on. Corner him, corner him. He deserves it. He's playing kit. Come on, bully him. All right, we have no idea where that guy's at. I'm just gonna leave him. Can one berry shot take out a box? That's kind of wild, if so. Uh-oh. Uh, broken brawler alert. I know that Lily's still broken. She needs uh, unload speed nerf desperately. Larry, Lori, you are in a horrible position. Wait, that Larry, Lori's level zero, but I'm gonna die. Get away from me. Oh my gosh. Heal myself, please. No, auto aim. It's not what we need right now. Oh, brother. Please. Bro, this is chaotic. The thing is, it's not 76 trophy matchmaking. It's 50,000 trophy matchmaking. There is no low trophy matchmaking in this game anymore. Once you reach uh, like 20 to 30,000 trophies, the matchmaking is no longer based on your brawler and it's just based on the total trophies. So never again will we experience low trophy matchmaking in this game. Every match is forever going to be sweaty. It'll just become more sweaty the higher trophies you get. That's how it is. All right, so one shot should take out this box. We have, we have three people surrounding us right now. Get over here, Charlie. You're dead. Yeah, that's right. How does it feel? Okay, that's a kit with three. I can't fight that. That's literally impossible gameplay. I did notice that Barry has pretty bad damage against tanks. It's not the greatest. But as long as you have a wall, then you're fine. Hello, RT. See, like, this is a moment where my range isn't that great, but I don't know why my guy is coming at me. That might actually be a low trophy moment. All right, Draco might have the gadget to kill me, but I just want to try it. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. All right. Yeah, I forgot that guy's still broken, but we are living. Might as well heal myself with my thingies, so then I get more super. And let's just try to bully the Draco a little bit. Look at how much area we control with that. That's wild. All right. You're gonna die. Meow, 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 meow. You're dead. Hey, oh, Angelo. Hey, oh, Angelo. What are you gonna do? Jump? You gonna jump? You gonna jump? You don't have it. You don't have a gadget. Poor boy. Get the pearl. Come on. Double thrower her. She's dead. Yes. I need the Willow to miss the super, and then we win. Uh oh. There's no way she has enough time. Okay, she got nothing out of that. GG, bro. That was awful. I think she started lagging as soon as she supered me. So unlucky, bro. Guys, we won a match at 70 trophies. That is wild. I'm shocked with my performance right now inside of Brawl Star. Igor, how do you feel about my W? He's purring. He's very happy with it. Time for back-to-back -back Ws, and then we can probably switch the game mode. Here's an example of his burst damage being good at first, and then it falls off super hard. See, now it's just like nothing. All right, I'm just going to shut this entire corridor down, so then you just cannot walk through it. Bro, I'm going to get cornered again. I'm actually going to delete the game. Ain't no way they're teaming at 80 trophies, bro. Gray, you are so unbelievably dead. Screw you, bro. Come on, bro. I have the gadget. Okay. Okay, she almost won that too. Uh, no way the kid puts the X spray. That's funny. Wait, no, the other kid's just gonna lose. Bruh. Oh, it's just me and him. Gotta wait for him to either surprise me with... Okay. Oh, no. Come on. What? That didn't do nothing, bro. Why did auto aim go away from him too? That's weird. Kit moment. That bro still needs to be nerfed. Igor, how do you feel about Kit? Well, you're not allowed to purr now. You're supposed to be angry. Let's try hot zone because I feel like this mode should be good for him. Igor, you gotta lock in right now. This is our moment to shine. We have Barry. They don't have Barry. We're also in like the best theme this game has ever had. So basically, we should win because I can cover the zone forever. And I can also cover this corridor, hopefully. Oh my gosh. I just realized we have such a broken team comp. Kill her. Full heal the Draco. That's insane. I can also get super by healing them. I gotta remember that. Like, I'm getting my super back now. And then I can use it on them if I want to. Like my own teammate. Yo, dog, don't worry, don't worry. I got you, I got you. Let's go. <laughs> no, push her away. No way we're still alive right now. You're not gonna hit me. <laughs> I knew it, dude. Right like a book. This is so broken. Doug, get in my my goop. Get in my berry goo. Oh yeah, nah, this is just GG, bro. How did we end up with the best comp possible? Alright, let's just pave their walkway with with ice cream dead. Hank, how are you supposed to do anything when I hard counter you with my gadget, huh? Like, what is Melody gonna do either, dude? Your time is over. Melody is no longer the best brawler. Their entire team didn't get a single kill because we were just busy healing each other the whole time. That was probably one of the most broken things I've ever experienced. They don't have Barry. I guess people aren't spending 15 bucks on him. I personally think he's pretty fun. In fact, I would say, right now at least, he's probably my favorite thrower because I like it when brawlers have versatility and Barry seems to have a lot of versatility, which cool so you know uh oh i should have supered in hold on i can still do it okay what a waste i thought my draco died but he did not all right dude the heels are too much the heels are too crazy like call me crazy but i would go ahead and say that this is not very balanced uh can i oh uh, uh, we actually died code red we actually managed to lose the zone and now it might not be looking very good for us because they have draco and draco's gonna do draco things they're getting the zone for free bro I gotta kill the Draco right now. Oh, no, he's just getting the zone for free. Maybe a loss, but I got star player double the damage of everybody else in the lobby. One loss and we're fighting bots. Thank you, Brawl Star. Even my teammates are bots. They just have skins on. Time for two minutes of pure bliss and enjoyment. Boom, boom. Hit them all with it. See, we have redeemed ourselves. Hey, oh, wait, no. Barry is capable of some insane team wipes. All right, watch this, though. Boom, boom, and then, all oh, right. Final game is a toss-up, all right? I'm changing my entire build. Different star power, different gadget, different gears. Everything is unique today. So we have the damaging star power, which is not the greatest, I don't think. And then I also have the gadget that makes the stuff last longer, which could be good for just setting it on the zone or leaving it behind as a healer. So, you know, both instances, not too bad. Uh, my Lily's gonna die unless I heal her. I don't get the real speed for this. The other star power is so much better for that. Get him, Ash. Get him, Ash. All right, that didn't work, but I got you supplied with the heals, right? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go in and then zip on out. Now I have five uh, power power gem, gem brawl star, gem brawl stars, brawl stars gems. Yeah, that is it. I might just leave a really long heal on myself on this zone because I feel like that should be pretty beneficial if I can just heal forever. This would be even better with the other star power where I can reload faster, but yeah, I put the worst one on. More damage isn't terrible, but oh hey, I could just out heal the amber super. Isn't that great? We love this. I need some ice cream on me. 
my Lily's going crazy, but now she's crazy dead. Oh, I got nine, man. I'm gonna put this on the Draco's location. Maybe just, I don't know. It's just blocking off corridors at this point. I only need one more, man. Oh my gosh, you let me have it. I'm burning again, but I can just out heal it. I need my Lily to go in and get like one kill so then we can uh, just get this last gem over here, man. I just can't go in. I'm gonna die, guaranteed. There's no chance. If I super in, I'm a sitting duck. If I try to go in and super out, I can't because I'll just get blasted. This is tough, bro. What do we do? Oh my gosh, my opportunity is now. I go, I leave, I run. I had my moment. Now I can just put a heal on myself that lasts forever right here. Boom. That's like 10, 15 seconds of pure healing. Yeah, they can't even get up to me. I can super to the corner. GG. That right there is a berry moment. Star player again, and the new kudos system is looking pretty pog. I like the new kudos because you can't just mass kudos somebody who does badly. As funny as that is sometimes, it's so toxic and shouldn't be in the game. You can only tell when one person does it, which is way better. Can you kudo enemies? Oh, you can. I didn't realize that you could do that. So this plus button is just for when you want to kudo a team in. All right, well, that's Barry. I'll push him up to 500 later. I'm not one of those YouTubers who just pushes them straight to rank 35 because I just don't want to spend my time doing that when I could just choose to not push him that high for a rank badge on my Brawl Star account, all right? That's just not really my thing. But I'll probably use him in ranked and we'll find out if he will become my main thrower brawler. He probably will be. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Barry moment. Goodbye. Subscribe.